What's up guys? We're here in the night market in Hanoi. It's a cold December night. Let's check out. The Hanoi Night Market is an amazing place. It's a wealth of old and new bundled into a bustling few streets in the old district of Hanoi. Every Friday, Saturday and Sunday, roadside stalls, local food, vendors gather together to sell their goods to huge crowds of locals and tourists. It runs through the old quarter district from it's about 7 o'clock onwards starting in the Hangdol Street running north to the edge of Dong Shuan Market. If you are looking for great deals on clothes, local crafts, trinkets, gifts, souvenirs, then this is definitely the place to go. Having been here previously the few months before, September or October time, it was apparent that there were quite a few differences from the summer months. First, it wasn't nearly as busy. December is definitely the off season and a little colder as well. So as a result, there were less people, but it was still pretty packed. But the first time I was here, we were shoulder to shoulder with tourists. We could barely move. We were getting pushed and pulled around. Whereas this time we were able to browse, look at the stalls, chat to vendors without being moved along by waves of people and we were able to check out things properly. The other thing I noticed compared to the summer was that the sellers were not willing to haggle at all. In fact, I was shut down by quite a few sellers who refused to knock even the slightest margin from their original asking price. In fairness, I was arguing over a few pounds or a dollar here and there, but they definitely had an attitude of it's the off season, so buy it or don't, but that's the price. Saying that though, towards the end of the night around 10.45, because it closes at 11, I was able to snag a few decent deals as they were closing down and they just wanted rid of us at that point. All in all, the prices are decent. And if you're looking for cheap clothes, trinkets and gifts, this is the place to get them. Summer or winter, you will find deals here. And one more thing to mention before I forget, the stock in winter is slightly different. I saw a bunch of cool t-shirts in September and I wanted to get them this time but most of the clothes places had switched to jumpers and hoodies. Pretty obvious if I'd actually thought about it, but thicker clothes for the winter and they're probably what sell better. There were a few t-shirt places, but much less overall. Just something to be aware of. The street food was the same as always. It always surprises me exactly how much there is, how varied it is. Multitudes of things on a stick. How they love their things on a stick. Chicken, beef, pork, insects, fruit, vegetables, you name it. As well as this, fries, snacks, barbecue, ice creams, yogurts, and crazy delicacies that usually taste better than they look. This is definitely a place you can get cheap eats. 10,000 Vietnam Dong to 20,000 Vietnam Dong, about 40 cents to 80 cents, will buy you most things. And certainly nothing will be more than a dollar. Including Bun Phang, which is the rice soup with shredded chicken, fried egg and pork. La Vong, which is their grilled fish. Pho, which is the local delicacy and it's noodle soup, flat noodles with beef, chicken and some vegetables. Bang mi, which is the Vietnamese sandwiches. And finally, bun cha, which is rice noodles served with grilled pork. You can find them all on this street. As well as the market, there are plenty of shops and bars and clubs 
and restaurants close by to the street to keep you entertained. And it all starts next to Ho Huang Kim Lake, where you can wander around, take in the sights, take photos, and it's a very beautiful place. And often there are even shows or street performances happening right there. Mostly in the busier season though. In the winter, it tends to be a little quieter, but still just as scenic. Well guys, that about wraps it up for the night market. If you like this, please comment, subscribe, and as always, safe travels. I'll see you in the next video.